Hello, Absence here. I'm not going to do my normal kind of intro because this is very serious stuff. There is sensitive stuff going forward that some people may find uncomfortable and stuff like that because it's topics including suicide, rape, etc. So, a word of warning before we go forward. Yesterday, an article got released saying that Activision is being sued by the California over allegations of fat boy culture and sexual harassment. This is honestly disgusting. I've read through this article already. They have done an update saying that the president has sent out an email to staff following the lawsuit. I think it's a bunch of crap, to be honest, because if your company is being investigated over a two-year period by the California state, you would know what is going on within your company. If you don't, then that's just that's honestly stupid. So Jason Shire... Someone that is uh, reporting on stuff like this. The email address does not include the specifics to the open legal case brought against Activision Blizzard. But the BRAC discussed the error on the culture and committed to continuous improvement. They're going to say that because their reputation has just gone out the window. Blizzard President J. Allen Brack sent out an email to staff last night addressing the allegations from this week's explosive law case calling them extremely troubling and saying that he'd meeting with many of them to answer questions and discuss how we can move forward. Why didn't he just do that in the first place? It's just lightly connected to the ongoing legal case. Bragg says that the listed behavior was unacceptable and the allegations are extremely troubling. But you would know! You would know! If you're a top of a company, you're gonna know what is going down the pyramid scheme. You're gonna know, but, uh, honestly, this really, this is disgusting. It honestly is disgusting. Like, going through this whole article and reading the stuff, and even, like, the, the other documents that are available for people to read as well, it makes me sick. And I hope, I know it's only a minority in the company that should be held accountable for this, but they should, they should get prison time for this, do a trial, and then get locked up, because this is... It's honestly disgusting. It really, really is. And I know Blizzard is not the only company that this goes on. I know it happens all around the world and in every single business there is probably something like this going on. But people don't speak out about it because it's something very hard to speak about. It really, really is. And bringing it more like this. Now talking about it now and discussing it and stuff like that. Hopefully people that see it go on or people that are like damaged by this and it affects them and is happening to them hopefully this gives them that that little push to to talk to someone or say something or just just something if you are if you are watching this happen to someone please talk out please and if this is happening to you as well i i do hope that you do have the, like, uh, I hope you're able to come forward and say what is going on. Let's continue on, shall we? People with different backgrounds, views, and experiences are essential for Blizzard. Our teams, our players, community. He continues, before making his point reference to the allegations brought up in the lawsuit, saying, I disclaim bro culture, and I've spent my career fighting against it. Well, well you've not obviously done a good job, have you? Real, like, honestly... If this is a two-year investigation by the California Department, it's not like one per. It's a state. It's California. And they say within the article as well that they asked for Blizzard's cooperation with stuff as well, and they weren't changing their and improving what they were given to them over the two years. Brack says that he and the Blizzard leadership team will be meeting with the employees to answer questions and discuss how WWE can move forward he ends the email by saying i feel angry sa and a host of other emotions but i also feel grateful to work alongside a set of leaders and a thousands of employees who can join me in their commitment to continuously improve thank you blizzard honestly i don't know how you didn't know this was going on during the two years i honestly don't know and then this is from the california state as well Activision Blizzard for fostering a frat boy culture with female employees are allegedly subject to unequal pay 
and sexual harassment. As reported by Bloomberg, Activision Blizzard being accused by the state of California of discriminating against female employees at nearly all levels of employment, including in regards to compensation, promotions, assignments, and terminations. The state alleges Activision Blizzard's leadership has failed to address any of these outstanding issues or prevent them from occurring within the workplace. So, that's what I don't get. This is the update with the big chief, the president. How does he not know this is going on? If, if a manager down the pyramid scheme has been told, okay, you need to change this from the California state, surely that would go up and send an email to say, oh, we have the California state looking into our company. You should know about this. And then the full lawsuit is there, and that is very explicit. So if you want to look at that, link in the description, but go look at it and be aware. The suit filled Tuesday in the Los Angeles Superior Court says Activision Blizzard, which is made up of about 20% women, assigns women and women of color to lower pay and lower opportunity levels with lower starting pay for similar work as their male counterparts. I know the equal pay with male and female is still a thing. It's disgusting. Everyone should be, everyone's doing the same job. So it should, like, regardless if you're male or female or or any other gender, it's just like, really? The documents also accuse Activision Blizzard of fostering a persuasive frat boy workplace culture in the office. Male employees are said to drink copious amount of alcohol as they make their way through the cubicles and often engage in appropriate behavior towards female employees. So that is the alcohol boosting their inappropriate behavior towards female employees. It's just, it really just annoys me. Like it's just, (laughs) like to hear this stuff go on within a workplace because that is just, that's the last thing you want is someone to just feel like they don't want to go to work and especially getting sexually harassed and stuff like that oh it's just like really male and employees are said to come to work hungover play video games during work while delegating their responsibilities to female employees engage in banter about sexual encounters talk openly about female bodies and joke about rape Really? They're fucking scumbags. Like, really. I really do hope the people that are accountable within this lawsuit, please get time for this. Because, one, you're ruining the workplace. Two, you're destroying people's lives. And within the lawsuit, it says there's something that... Activision deny that it's a part of the case, but Californians say that it is a part of the case, and hearing that really makes you sick. The lawsuit also sees one particular incident where a female employee who was already subject to intense sexual harassment at the company, this is it, committed suicide during a work trip with a male supervisor who allegedly brought inappropriate sexual items with him on the trip. I do have the lawsuit thing up. If anyone is thinking of suicidal thoughts and stuff like that please there are hotlines and stuff that you can call and please i know oh i know it's really hard to talk to people and stuff like that but please 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 do talk to people we wouldn't want anyone else leaving us through suicide so i'm going to get up the lawsuit thing and just a word of warning going forward So within the lawsuit itself, this is it. In a tragic example of harassment that the defendant allows to fester in their offices, a female employee committed suicide while on a company trip due to a sexual relationship that she had been having with her male supervisor. The male supervisor was found by police to have bought a butt plug and lubricant on this business trip. Another employee confirmed that the deceased female employee may have been suffering from other sexual harassment at work prior to her death. 
Specifically at a holiday party before her death, my old co-workers were alleged to passing around a picture of the deceased vagina. Just seeing that and reading that on paper makes you sick. Like, it honestly makes you sick. Like, oh, it's, it's, it really infuriates me. It really, really does. I re they really should be held accountable. Really should be held accountable. Like, whoever, whoever was passing these around, I know it's alleged, but whoever was passing these around, Oh, please. <laughs> then we go back to the article. The lawsuit is asking for an injunction that will force Activision Blizzard to comply with the workplace protections, as well as deliver unpaid wages, pay adjustments, back pay, and lost wages and benefits for female employees. So, Asman Gold is talking about this situation, and he got a... a message from someone that works at Blizzard, so this was verified. And in order for these adjustments and back pays and stuff like that, the person was given 100 honor points. 100 honor points. Like, really? Really? Is that their adjustment and back pay? An Activision Blizzard spokesperson sent the following statement in response to the allegations. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a bunch of crap. <laughs> Honestly, this is going to be a bunch of PR crap. We value diversity and strive to foster a workplace that offers an exclusive for everyone. But they're not talking about diversity. They're not talking about diversity. It's like me going up, like, talking about one thing, and I'm getting investigated for one thing. And then like, oh yeah, but we do this. I, I do this, though. Like, fuck off. Like, yeah, it's cool that you have diversity and we should have diversity within a workplace, but that's not what they're talking about. There is no place in our community or industry, well, there is apparently in your company, or any industry for sexual misconduct or harassment of any kind. Well, you've been having it for two years and done nothing about it. We take every allegation seriously, investigate all claims. Yeah, okay. All right. Now you will because the theta get... But they have been involved for two years. In cases related to the misconduct, action was taken to address the issue. Well, obviously not. They're saying that it's not. The DFEH includes distorted and in many fo uh, cases false descriptions of Blizzard's past. We have been extremely cooperative with the DFEH throughout their investigation, including providing them with extensive data and ample documentation. But they refused to inform us what issues they perceived. It's like, what? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's stupid. It honestly is stupid. They were required by law to abloquently, sorry, investigate and have good faith discussions with us to better understand and to resolve any claims or concerns before going to the education. But they failed to do so. Oh, my. Instead, they rushed to file an inaccurate complaint as we demonstrated in court. We are sickened by the re... Here, yes, sorry. Really do uh, um, apologize for that. The conduct of the DFEH to drag into the complaint of the tragic suicide of employees whose passing had no bearing whatsoever on the case. Bollocks. Bollocks. From the evidence that we have seen... It has everything to do with this case. Of an employee who passed, passing has no bearing whatsoever on this case with no regard for her grieving family. You had no regard. While we find this behavior to be disgraceful and unprofessional, it is unfortunately an example of how they have conducted themselves throughout the course of their investigation. It is the type of the irresponsible behavior of the unaccountable state bureaucrats that we are driving many of the state's business, best businesses out of California. Well, get them out. Fucking get them out. If they're having sexual harassment and stuff like that within their workplaces, get out of California then. Bye. <laughs> get out. The pictures of the DFEH paints is not the blizzard of the workplace of today. No, it's over the past several years. Yes, yes. So it's not, it's not one complaint that's come out from someone last week. It is a big off investigation that's been going on for two years. 
is nuts. We've made significant changes to address the company culture and reflect more diversity. They're not on about, <laughs> they're not on about diversity. Are they? That's not what they're investigating you for. They're not investigating you for the lack of diversity within your company. No, they are investigating you because of sexual harassment. So stop trying to veer off the path. Ah. Oh. Uh, with our leadership teams, we've updated our code of conduct. Code of conduct? While well, referring to Rasmund Gold again, you don't even do the code of conduct to players. To emphasize a strict non-retaliation focus, ampled internal programs and channels for employees to report violations, including a, a an ask list with a confid confidential integrity hotline int and introduced an employee relations team dedicated to investigating employee concerns. Well, yeah, but if the person that's looking at the reports and stuff is the ones that are doing the frat boy stuff and... Uh, we have strengthened our commitment to diversity. They're all about diversity. Uh, and inclusions of the combined of our employee networks at a global level to provide additional support. Employees must undergo a regular anti-harassment training and have done so for many of years. Well, you're not really putting all this into work, are you really? We put tremendous effort into creating fair and rewarding compensation packages and policies that reflect our culture and business. Yeah. What a load of bollocks. And we strive to pay all employees fairly for equal or sub subsequently similar work. And I know there's reports as well that people were docked pay and stuff like that when they were doing just as much work as they were to their male counterpart employees. That's disgusting. For example, we reward and compensate employees based on their performance. You also dock your employees. And we conduct extensive anti-discrimination training, including those who are part of the compensation process. We are confident in our ability to demonstrate our practices as an equal opportunity employer that fosters a supportive, diverse, and inclusive workplace for our people. And we are committed to continuing this effort in the years to come. It is a shame that the DFEH did not want to engage with us on what they thought they were seeing within their investigation. Honestly, that's a load of crap. Oh, I really do hope. So to su summarize this whole article and stuff like that, I know I've kind of got off <laughs> a bit. It just really annoys me. It really, really does. So I do hope... The, the minority people that are within the company that are doing these sexual harassments and stuff like that are making women's jobs really uncomfortable and not wanting to go held accountable and just arrested and had some time. And the president, like really, surely you must have known about all of this going on. You're at the top. You're at the top. You would have known that this was going on. Really, really is. This is where I'm going to leave this video. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments about this. Because this is honestly disgusting. And I feel like with this, we're going to see a lot more companies and stuff. And people talking about this. So this is only going to be a plus for the whole thing. And please, if you are having suicide thoughts and stuff like that, there is hotlines and stuff in the description as well. And please do talk to, to someone. And if you see any sexual harassment and stuff, do go on within workplaces or even when you're out and about please talk to someone and let it be known don't don't hide it to yourself don't hide it